If you wake up and realize you've done nothing with your life, could you get a second chance to get things right? Instead, you stay up all night watching Jaws and getting high. Could you then grow up to be a shark? And if you're sickened by the sea and all it has inside, could that shark then turn into me? fucking learn about shark 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 did you know with cool are you wearing your jaw shirt you should be just sit back and relax did you know that sharks have a sixth sense in fact, in addition to their killer sense of smell, sharks also can detect prey by tapping into the small electrical fields that other animals generate using tiny organs called the ampulla of Lorenzini. The strongest of these lies in the hammerhead shark. Speaking of hammerhead sharks, did you know that the hammerhead shark has 360 degree vision? Did you know that sharks can't actually ever sleep? They simply enter a resting mode while they still move. Some sharks can be pregnant for more than two years. Did you know that great white sharks have a more powerful bite than most jungle cats? Did you know that lightning strikes are more deadly than shark attacks? Statistically, more people die every year from being hit by lightning than being attacked by sharks. Did you know that great white sharks actually specialize in sneak attacks? Did you know that shark skeletons are made of pure cartilage and muscle? Sharks are one of the oldest species known and are older than some dinosaurs. In fact, during the Mesozoic era, Sharks were bigger than buildings. Did you know that sharks have way more than one series of teeth? And if one falls out or is broken, a new one will grow and to replace it? In fact, some sharks can grow up to 50,000 teeth in a lifetime. Did you know that some shark species are as small as goldfish? Did you know that sharks don't have vocal cords, meaning they're completely silent? And did you know it is possible to ride a shark while underwater? Speaking of riding sharks underwater, let's talk about shark relationships. Oh shit. God damn. No, 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 not that kind of relationship. The symbiotic kind. This is a remora fish. You see that little shoe print on its head? That's actually a built-in suction cup it uses to suck to the sides of sharks. And the sharks don't mind because remora fish feed on the parasites and the shark skin, and some shark scraps if they're lucky. Some of these little suckers are pretty brave. They'll swim in a shark's mouth to get scraps and the parasites between the teeth. They're actually really important to sharks, and in return, sharks don't kill them. And that's the beautiful symbiotic relationship between sharks and remora fish. It's time for some haikus! Haiku! Sharp teeth. Skilled hunter. Majestic swimmer. Stalking. Unsuspecting prey. Goblins. Tigers. Bulls. Oh my. The, the oh my wasn't part of the fight. I'll, I'll start over. Goblins. Tigers. Bulls. Zebra, whale, cookie cutter, lemon, barn door, cow. Wait a second, this isn't a haiku. This is a list of different classifications of sharks. Well, some of them. There are only like 400 more. Here's one of my favorites. Oh shoot, that's not a shark. That's an underwater pepperoni pizza. No wait, that is a shark. That's an Australian, this word shark. This word is another name for carpet sharks. They're called that because they stick to the ocean floors, and when they're ready for food, they kind of just sit still on the ocean ground and eat stuff that come to them. What a life. Anyway, these carpet munchers can be found in shallow, temperate, and tropical waters, mostly around Australia and Indonesia.
this is my favorite shark comic strip. And I want to act it out. And I'm going to do that. What's up, dolphins? A high shark? I'm a fish in the distance. I hear a fish. I want to eat a fish. Mmm, I also want to eat a fish. Hey, there's a shark over there. So what do you dipshits do all day? We joke each other off. We're fags. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Story time. Margot was on a boat. She was also a writer. Margot got off the boat and onto a float. And on the float, she had a note. Book. Instead of notes, she wrote a joke. What do sharks do when they have a big choice to make? Choose wisely. Happy with her words, she separated paper and pen, and that is when she spotted the fin. A shark tipped the float and told her that it actually liked the joke, but it preferred limbs. The end. Of Margot's life, not the story. The shark was arrested and given his day in court. Any guesses how he pled? Gil. That's the end. What's a shark's favorite song when it hunts for food? Don't stop bleeding. You know, not all jokes land well. I guess you could say we really jumped the shark on that one. Oh. We're gonna cut that out in post, right? Fuck. <clears throat> Secrets are meant to be secrets. It's a tragedy. You're a human tragedy. By probing you and sticking the needle in, you have not given me a chance to put any dollars in there. You're dead to me when you say no to my deal. You're dead. Wow. It's you. Kevin O'Leary. Mr. Wonderful. Hey. How? How? Yes. Maybe some secrets really are meant to be secrets.